We're going to get you walking to the music again.
Which guy's working? Raise your hand. So that's what we have to focus on. We always try to remove the poop and the dirt, and then it's safe. Yeah, usually when you store water that has sand, it, it, it looks it's all dirty. Yeah. Cloudy. All right, so our water comes from the lake, and then water can also come from the ground. And what we have in water is what we call calcium and hardness. Calcium, you guys have heard of calcium, right? We drink milk so that we get calcium, so we have strong bones and teeth, right? And it's also in our water. How do you think it gets in the water? Well, it comes from rocks. Rocks have calcium in them. And when there's rocks in the water, all that calcium goes right into the water. And so we actually have calcium in the water, and we measure it at the lab just so we know how much we have. And then we can let everyone else know how much water. So my what dad, we're gonna do. Hmm? My dad was a, at a plant that in Virginia because we're moving right across from the Hershey's plant. That's a really great place to work. <laughs> when we get out there, it'll be great. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what we can do is we're going to test how much hardness, how much calcium's in the water. And in order to do that, we're gonna use this test right here. And I'm going to have you probably, you'll be able to reach the sink better. You're gonna to go to the sink and you're gonna fill that up all the way to the top with water, right? All the way to overflowing. You're gonna hold this, okay? Can you hold this? Oh, nope. all right. I'll hold it. You're gonna hold this jar. You're gonna put it right over the top of that tube. Go ahead and slide it right over the top, all the way so that the bottom, yep, so, so that they touch each other and flip it over. All right, and then pull it up. Well, you gotta have to make sure it's touching. It has to touch. There you go, now it's out. Okay, what that did was that put 8.4 mils of water into this tube. So it's just a really neat way to measure. So what we're gonna do is use this guy right here. This is what we call a stir plate. So see right there, there's a magnet. See that little, see the magnets that are passing? Okay, if I spin it really fast, those magnets, we turn it up, the magnet starts to spin, 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 and then we can slow it down. You can watch it go really slow. So what's there? This is another magnet. So what do you think happens when we put it on there? It sticks. Do you want to turn the knob? Oh, no, we'll see. Go ahead and turn the knob. Go ahead, you can touch I'll it. Do you it. can turn it. You just turn it like that. <laughs> All right, go ahead and turn the knob. And look at that. It makes it stir. It makes it spin. So what do you think happens if we put it in this jar? Let's drop the magnet in there. And now put it on there. What do you think will happen? creates like a whirlpool, right? And if we get going too fast, it gets all out of control and it starts bumping around. Okay, so what we're gonna do while it's stirring is we're gonna put it on here so we can see the color. What color is the water right now? White. Yeah, it's clear, okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add, this is just a buffer that we put in, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add four drops of this buffer. You got you familiar with the dropper? You just squeeze it? Four drops right into there. Yeah, we have one. 
All right, go ahead and just drop that right back in there. Now we need one drop of the pink stuff. Go ahead and take it and just put one drop right in there. Oops. There you go. All right, so what color is it now? Pink. Okay. Now comes the fun part. So this is where we have to count. Eight. <laughs> well, that's what the other one was. Maybe you just don't know. All right. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to count the drops until the water turns what color? What are we looking for? Blue. Blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, slow down. Eight. You don't want to go over. Almost there. Yep, there you go. It's blue. <laughs> there you go. So your hardness is eight. So that would be eight oh, yeah. grains of hardness. Yeah, because it's. <laughs> I could have brought some some different water, and then that would have been fun. Then I would have messed it all up. You would have been, been there like, for a eight, long time. eight. <laughs> you would have been there for a lot longer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So there we go. So that's how you test hardness in the lab. Right in there. And then put it on the strip light, and then go ahead and start start it stirring, and you'll see it move. And you want to go slow at first. See how it's stirring? Okay. Oh, make sure it's stirring really good, and then you're going to take one drop. We're going to add one drop of this. Have you ever used a dropper before? Yeah. You're going to just squeeze and do one drop. So you can go ahead and do one drop in here. Yep, that's good. All right. And now I'm going to take this chain stuff. And we're going to do the same thing. Go ahead and do one drop right into that. There you go. Go ahead and put it right back in. All right. So, what color is it? Pink. What we'll do is we'll put this on here. That way we can see the color. So, yeah. <laughs> we are going to do a titration, which means we're going to drop these drops into the water until it turns a different color. The color we're looking for is blue, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have you take the dropper, and now you have to be real careful because we need to count the number of drops. So we need to be able to count one, two, three, just like that. So we need to drop it really slow right into the center of this jar. So go ahead and take it and drop it right into the center. That's one. Two, three. Do we see it changing yet? We don't, we don't see anything. Four. All right, keep going. Five. Six. Seven. Is it changing? I see a little bit. Is it blue yet? Kind of looks purple. So maybe do one more drop. Eight. Is that it? Yeah. There you go. So your water, you tested it, and it has a hardness of eight. So, we'll go ahead and put that back in. And there you go. And then we would measure that and then we would write it down and we would know what the hardness is in the water we're drinking. Okay, cool. Can you explain to them what that means, hardness in the water? Yep, it's, the hardness is the amount of calcium and limestone and magnesium that goes into the water. So, the more rocks, the, more, the harder your water. So, you know, water can come out of the lake or it can come out of the ground, right? Where do you think, which has more rocks, the lake or the ground? Okay, and we'll talk with saying, here's Hurricane getting in the fire truck. How's that? All right, that's cool. Very good. Okay, we got...